<laughs> so like, like, what's your problem with you and Igbo men? I'm better for you. Oh, <laughs> yes, my God. Somebody with a fire, you know. And then for you, like, he's um, the first person to ask questions. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, What's yeah. the secret to Ibo men getting so much money though? Because you lot have Please, some money, man. Tell um, us. I, I, I feel it's like, you know, the struggles you have been through. Mm. And, you know, um, yeah, that's what I think. Nice, yeah. yeah. Because, um, I, like, my dad always told me after the Biafran War, like, yeah. um, we the Ibos, like, um, they say that they took all our properties. These are according to stories. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's true, but. Shout out to Ibo. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we have passed through a lot. Yeah, and I feel that's what's building us up, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. So that bathroom was a bit mad. It's a, it's a mad story, isn't it? Well, yeah, that, 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 that whole situation there, yeah. I don't want to dive too deep because I don't yeah, know. I don't know nothing. Yeah, yeah, I just knew Jen now, so like, yeah. yeah. yeah but like, yeah. but like, as an Igbo man, yeah. as an Igbo man, yeah. Hmm? One evil. Yeah. 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 Do you think that yeah. you guys are the ones holding Nigeria together? Ooh, interesting ah, that's, that's very deep question. Yeah. 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 Um, to be honest, I think yeah, we are one of the key holders here in Nigeria. Like, without the Igbo men, there are some things or some, um, let's say there are some um, development happening right now in Nigeria that I don't think is going to be existing. So I feel that Igbo men are one of the pillars of Nigeria. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah you, because there's no community that's thriving that Igbos have not infiltrated. Mm. Yeah. Even I mean, here in Lagos, like yeah. here in Lagos, I, I feel we are one of the key holders. You're the backbone of yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to Igbos, you're the yeah, backbones yeah, of yeah, business. Backbone, and it's, yeah, there's no Yoruba yeah. state you won't go to that you'll see Chidema's kitchen. Yeah. Or I go to the market and it's Igbo people. Yeah, market's Igbo people, yeah. The fact is that in Nigeria, in almost all the whole cities, almost I didn't say all the whole, almost all the whole cities. Almost city. all, yeah. After the indigenous people, yes, it's Ibo. Ibo. Facts, yeah, facts. That's facts. That's yeah. actually facts. I've that seen that. So with my, I've seen that with yeah. my own yeah. eyes. Yeah. So you're very, you're known for that. You're very, you're very industrious. Yeah. You know, you're very about business. But the beauty of Ibo is that yeah. you're about don't have. You train. You had a very big apprentice culture before. Yeah, you yeah. Ibo man will train the next generation, mm, and we don't yeah. have that culture in the Yoruba yeah, tribe. That's interesting. So that's one thing also that I've noticed of of you guys. Yeah. Guys, I mean, what do you think about this whole uh, what, Namdi Kamni movement, you know, all these kind of things? What do you think about all of that? Um, I feel the goal at the end of the day is for, for you know, for... I feel that Igbos are being like, when I say marginalized, kind of. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the I goal agree, is actually. for to give everyone an equal playing ground. I agree with this. That's just, like, that's just. Mm. The I see where they're coming goal, from. Yeah, people, really. people try to, people try to say, but at the end of the day, we are such this Nigeria. We were packaged together, yeah. north and south. But even amongst the southerners, yeah. you've got Yoruba, you've got many different tribes, and then you've got Igbo as well. Yeah. So mm. as a group, when we're doing north and south um, split. Yeah. It both if, do get yeah. mis- you don't get yeah, yeah, yeah. you get marginalized. That's so yeah. I see where they're coming from, yeah. And if you check like the, in Nigeria here, if you check most of the industries that you know that do well, the, the industries that do well usually are those industries where you have Ibos, Aosas, and Yorubas working together. Like mm. come to the football team, come to the football team. You see, like the national team, they prosper to an extent because of they give everyone an equal playing ground mm. to perform. So mm. I feel if they can give the Igbos an equal playing ground, Nigeria is going to really prosper and grow better yeah, than this right now. Yeah. Do you know yeah. the, the, the what's the population of Igbo people compared to the total population of Nigeria? I feel let's see probably twenty to fifty million. I'm I'm not sure. Able. Yeah, I, I, I'm just guessing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Hopefully. you hold you're, you're most of the east, right? You know, yeah. South South mm. are their own as a mix, but you guys are the east, mm. and then we're the southwest and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, there's a healthy yeah. amount of of yeah. states are purely Igbo. Igbo. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, nice. Anyways, so, so let's get intros going. Yes, okay. Yeah. So, who is Micah. the king? Micah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I'll say Micah is um, an innovator. Someone hmm. who loves to, you know, go places that that people see as, you know, that, let's say, places that are not, people see as a rural area looking for opportunities there. Mm. Mm. So, recently I visited Makoku. Yes. And people usually go there, they see there as a slum. But I see there are somewhere that can be converted into being the Venice of Africa. 
Okay. Yeah, he, so he I, I'm someone that looks for opportunity where people see problems. Yeah. Mm. Nice. So what is the most interesting places you've been to? I've not really traveled a lot, to be honest. I've been to, here in Lagos, because I just came into Lagos, I've been to Makoko, um, just Makoko, and then down there in the east, um, I've been to places like MBC. MBC is, is like most of the Igbo men that are doing well are from MBC. Okay. And yeah, yeah, hundred nice. percent. And in most, I, in most state. Yeah, from most state. Oh. Let me say from most state. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most of the Igbo men that do well mm-hmm. from most state are usually from MBC. Nice. And I was there, and that place is not really that developed. But I feel that people need to come back and look at this place. Like I feel that lots of opportunities mm. there in MBC. And um, when I was there, I was I actually went there to attend the burial of a man called Insta Innocent Chukuma. He's a great man. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's an activist, but he's a very, very great man. Okay. And being there in MBC, I, I saw a, a community that that could become a producer of cassava right here in Nigeria. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I'm that guy that goes places where... So, agriculture, yeah. so I, like so I want to really understand something because you've also those these rural communities, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. What do you think is... is when you see repetition, because you must see patterns in all these communities, right? Okay. What do you see in terms of economic activities that they do? Uh, quite, they all do quite often. Yeah. It, I didn't get that question. Like, so yeah. in these rural communities, right, what yeah. economic activity do you see is most frequent in these communities? I f- I so, f- farming. 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 But what type of farming, though? For I mean, for, for the South East, because I've, I like, grew up in the South East mm-hmm. all my life, so mm-hmm. I'll say it's more of cassava farming. You have palm oil mm-hmm. and you have... We have a little bit of poultry. Mm. Yeah, so these are the three key things I've seen so, so far. So palm oil, yeah, cassava, cassava farm, poultry. Because yeah. it was agriculture that yeah. led me to his channel. Yeah. Because mm. I've been speaking about how I've been in deep diving into agriculture and yeah. stuff because I think it's an, it, honestly, it's the most yeah. amazing industry. I never thought I'd be interested in farming. But <laughs> literally, once you start learning about it, you can't put yourself because out you, of because it. Because you saw the numbers and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a part of that. <laughs> it's never about, it's never about <laughs> going to the farm. She <laughs> so was not thinking about going to the farm. I, I bet you know, Ah, <laughs> okay, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the balance sheet, the numbers, were, the math was mathing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the numbers were looking good, but the point was, it led me to Micah's channel, okay. and I was so impressed. Like, yeah. obviously, I know you do other things, like the yeah, real yeah. estate and all that, yeah. but the thing is, what distinguishes you from our fellow African YouTubers, you go to, I clocked it, you go to the rural government, you will ask them, what do you need from the government? Yeah. What do you need for this? And it's like, it's so important because we eat every day and I just eat like like we have no tomorrow, mm, yeah. okay? We yeah. enjoy food so much. No one knows where the food comes from. Yeah. If you understand agriculture, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. I know corn, corn might be the fastest crop to plant, between planting and harvest, yeah, yeah. it's four months. So when you think about food, all the food you eat, mm. it's anything between like more than four months to so four palm fruit is four years. You plant it three wow. to four years before you can harvest it to farm oil. Time. So you can imagine people that work in agriculture and farming, they're very special and patient, patient people. people. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. you going into that right now, I just want to hear about everything that you've learned so far, like mm. in your in your YouTube journey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um talking about agriculture, um, some of the guys I've gotten to interview. One of the key things I've picked up from there, them is actually patience. Yeah. Because the truth yeah. is that the Nigerian government most of the time, they don't, like, support these guys. Yeah. Like, I was this guy I had an interview with on my channel. He who invested probably almost close to 100k USD into agriculture in his, in his community, there in MBC. And the guy is he's no longer in Nigeria again. Like, the guy is out of Nigeria. <laughs> I'm telling you. He, he was surprised that that video got up to, like, 10k views or so. But, like, mm. he was, like, some people are calling him. But, like, he does not have that desire again to invest in his country because of the things he has faced. That is mm. so terrible. You get, he was, when I had, when I had that conversation with the guy, he was like saying that, um, his, his business is crumbling. Like he was, like the guy, <laughs> <laughs> man, I was so de- devastated, to be honestly speaking. I feel that the government really, really what needs was he to like, fa- what was his crops? He was, he invested into plantain farming, um, okay. cassava farm, cassava, plantain no, sorry, is quite fast. Plantain yeah. farming, um, poultry. Poultry, He okay, has, yeah. he has pig farm, he has a pig farm and he also has like some boys that he's training. So the guy is not just thinking about his, himself. Gosh. He's actually investing in the people of himself. Well. So is the government is not really helping out. So when it comes to... See, see for me, and let's understand the kind of structure towards um, economic development in the rural area, right? Okay, yeah. So you've got the federal government, yeah. right? And then you've got the state government, and you've got yeah. the local government, yeah. right? Doesn't, is there a money value chain that goes from federal government down to local government for to, and to kind of catalyze those okay. rural communities with jobs of like, or be, help those businesses in those communities. Okay. So one thing I realized growing up in Imo State is that 
when it comes to local government, because the local government is meant to like channel most of the investments down to the rural communities. But if you check properly, you see that the local government, most of their chairmen, they are not like elected by the community guys. It's the governor that comes to come and you know put someone to come and oversee the whole oh. things. So mm. these guys are just working hand in hand with most of these corrupt leaders you get. Mm. So that's just a problem there. So mm. if you can have the people elect who they feel is the most credible person to you know help them out, I feel that most of the money going down there is going to be reaching these guys. So that's just a thing there. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. And mm. uh, this is a lot. Honestly, thank you so much, Michael. So, so I want to understand you first again. Yeah. You know, because I'm diving to the topics. Yeah. Even knowing your own journey, your own story is so important. Because I'm hearing you insinuate that you just came to Lagos. Yeah. So where were you before? Like, what did you study? Okay. Okay. I'm still in school actually. Oh. Yeah, I'm still in school. People don't. Yeah, I'm no still way. In school. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah. So where did you grow up? And then what are you studying? I, I grew at the up moment? in State. Yeah. Imo State. I'm studying marketing. Interesting. Yeah. Studying marketing in Imo State University. Um, no before way. I actually started going to, you know, I started a business, like when I was too small, but yeah, I started a company Ibo, called, Ibo, 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 yeah. Ibo. this business is from yeah. young, I like that. So I started a company called Oya Park. So basically the problem we are trying to solve was like in Imo State there, I saw that people are usually parking on the road, like most of these cars are parking on the road. So the goal of Oya Park was to like partner with most of these guys that have properties in CBD areas, like business areas. So are these cars parking on the road? could be put in their free space and then the money they pay us we split it with the property owner you get mm -hmm. so we started the business the business was going but there was a big issue a big problem there was like this emo states like these guys <laughs> nigerians are used to parking anyhow <laughs> nigerians are used to parking anyhow okay come and park inside here and the guy will be like oh god more this stuff like my car is okay here i know send you that kind of thing so that was the major issue so <laughs> We are like having this problem. They are seeing us like uh, they are seeing us like as Abiru people, like mm, people disturbing them for parking. Mm. So that was a very very big issue. But the first land that we got, getting the land in Nigeria is another big issue. Yes. <laughs> the first land that we got, we, it was through some bustle with the like before we were able to get the land. So when we got the land, the next issue was now this car parking on the road. Come inside here, like this is a free space. I'm going to take care of your car. You don't bother yourself. We had plans. We had plans for that business. So um, with time. We saw that Nigerians are not used to like parking. Like Nigerians are not used to non like orderliness. Mm. So, facts, I, I, facts. <laughs> That's the most so, accurate yeah, thing I've heard so all true. day. Yeah. yeah. So um, I felt after a while, I just got exhausted. Yeah, I, I can hear yeah, you. My business yeah. partner, he, he wanted to keep going. He actually quit before the guy. The guy wanted like this business for survive. Oh. I quit before the guy, but with time, the guy, the main person, like the person that had the vision, yeah, has quit. So the guy with me so after starting that business i was thinking what else should i do what else should i do i said let me just go to school because i didn't nice. want to go to school at first okay so let me just go to school nice. um and while I, I try to figure out something else to do mm -hmm. i started going to school and my roommate is school he's also a youtuber so he makes nice. tech he makes tech reviews mm -hmm. so um i saw what he was doing i started thinking long term not short term in the sense right. that youtube is something that compounds and like it's something that you can leverage on like it, it gives you leverage YouTube gives you leverage. Mm. Like, you're able to see me from YouTube, you get. Yes. So, I, I figured that out and said, let me just go with YouTube. Mm -hmm. I started making videos on how to start different kind of businesses. Excellent. And from, from there, I made videos. I, like, started thinking, can I go into the rural areas, you know, and talk with guys that, you know, I started businesses, get their experience. And I still make videos that have to do with investing here in Africa mm. and investing in general. So, yeah. that's what my channel is all about. Yeah. So, so, so out of all the kind of journeys that you make and the businesses that I've interviewed and people, that, what yeah. was what's been in one that just surprised you the most? Yeah. Like one key lesson I've picked, is that what you're asking? No, what, what episode of that? Of, of your, your YouTube channel. channel what's, that surprised what's the, what's the you okay, the most? Okay, that, okay, ah, okay, okay. This is what really is going on here. Okay, I, I feel um, there was this guy this this particular video that sticked out for me, a guy that started a fish farm. So he was like talking about some of the challenges he has faced so far in Nigeria mm -hmm. and how that led him to starting a fish farm. And the, and the key thing about that particular video is that the guy did not just start the business alone. Nigerians are used to running their business alone, not with their wife. Mm. But this guy is running his business with his wife and they are doing well. Interesting. Get. Their business is not like a, a business that can become a multi-billion dollar business, but it's a business that is surviving for him and his family and the business is doing well at the moment. So that particular video sticked out for me. Mm. That's the question I'm asking. Well, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah. And, and so if you, if you think about like how the future of Nigeria, right? And you think about all this, because you did a lot of content I got to yeah, ask yeah. about a few, right? Yeah. yeah. Where do you think on the agricultural value chain, where do you think the future of Nigeria lies? Excellent. Yeah. Okay, in terms of Excellent. production, um, 
I feel Nigeria can become a high um, exporter of things like palm oil. Mm. Yeah. Um, you have cassava. Like, you, like, come down to the east, bro. Come down. You see, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, nah, man, come down. Let's go look. I'm telling you, like, you see, oh, people, people plant cassava. Like, even sometimes you just break cassava, like as if it's just it's nothing, joke, right? like it's nothing. You get like, <laughs> like, and then you have guys that are talking about the north. The north is another key place that yes, you have agriculture, 100%, like bro. Yeah, that place is like I feel that sometimes 100%. I pity myself because I really want to explore Nigeria and yeah. get to like see beautiful things in this country Facts. and mm. places that are worth investing in this country. But you see some of the things happening in the country; it kind of hinders you from going yeah. places. Yeah. So Nigeria is a country I feel that because I was saying that says that during the time of crisis. There are opportunities, mm. and the best time to be born is during the time of crisis, crisis. because that's the best mm. time. Yeah, that's the best time you like find yes. opportunities. And I feel we are all of us here right now. We are in the like this is the best times of our life. And in the next few years, I feel Nigeria is going to be. This is someone born yeah. and bred within the country, and, it's, and it's still optimistic. You see, yeah. that's the thing is like being optimistic. Right, it doesn't really have to be location based. Yeah, but that's why I say the closest people that I am to here that are not. Um, born abroad like us is local Nigerians that are still optimistic mm. I can't be around a negative mindset yeah, yeah, we know it's not yeah. perfect but there's enough for us to do we're so blessed with what we have already yeah. and there's enough for us to manage with yes you're right very disabling environment mm. yeah. right now the security issue is stopping a lot of us from wanting to yeah. me Bauchi State Bono State Plateau <laughs> State great. Kano State <laughs> I want to be there <laughs> I want to I will take a flight by myself I don't need everybody to take me there me yeah. I want to go by myself should be in London and you go to Manchester you go Bram is nothing. Yeah. That's so he's got a very good point right now. So we do know what's wrong with it. Security, you can't I cannot take a flight to Bouchy State and take an Uber to where I want to go and whatever and be okay. I I I would do it because I'm crazy, but yeah. you know you cannot do yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah. you it, it is there is a point there that we in some aspects, unfortunately, we do need to put pressure on the government. Yeah, we do need them yeah. to actually do some mm. things. Even there was one I watched, I think it was your guy, I think it was a palm or your guy, and I loved yeah. how that's what I think I what I just love who you go to because we have excellent YouTubers in Africa. We are absolute fans of the, yeah, our fellow African yeah. YouTubers. Shout out to, shout out to all of them. Yeah. What Maya? Yeah. What Maya? Yeah, yeah. I He's love him, guy, yeah. Tayo. Like we yeah, we Tayo, shout them out yeah, every episode. Guys, yeah. They are doing. In fact, I will, I've always said it in every episode. I've moved back to Nigeria because of their videos. Wow. You know, amazing, so they're amazing. that yeah. they're, they're that inspiring. Wow. So we have enough of that. But what makes you different is you also showing real life yeah. because you're showing people that have made the best of what they've had yeah. and they're doing an excellent job at it yeah. but at the same time you're also showing what they need yeah. because the craziest thing about smallholder farmers and i don't i want to hear your views on this mm. okay for me the sanitary standards are a bit whoa, whoa. do you what <laughs> i didn't get that <laughs> The sanitary standards. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. I want to hear from you. That goes to the judge. Okay. <laughs> what's, the, what's the reason behind that, though? Please, like, I need to okay, understand he, it. He, he's so <laughs> Ah, he God, knows okay. what I mean yeah, because yeah, yeah, people yeah. like me will be like, eh, is that what the palm oil is? I'm not ah, eating I, I, again. I, since the video, yeah, yeah, since yeah. I started learning about palm oil, yeah. I checked the label yeah, of any yeah. palm oil that I'm using because I'm like, if it came from that area, I'm not using it. That's what makes us unique, to be honest. Like, really? I'm, I'm telling you, like, that's like, that's that's the African, like, that's what makes us makes us unique, to be honest. Like, the whole process that the palm oil passes through. Mm -hmm. you get yeah. the whole soiling and the whole dating I'm it's a lot that's it's what a lot, makes yeah. it it's just like someone who loves to eat bush meat <laughs> no. you yeah, you can, I can decide to start selling bush meat here in Lake and it might not really sell out but someone that's walking on the road can decide someone who just can decide to purchase the one someone just got, some, got from the bush mm -hmm. and is looking dirty for a higher <laughs> amount of money so that, that's what makes it beautiful to be yeah. honest yeah. Would, you, would you buy bush meat? No, <laughs> you, know the answer, you know the answer already so don't ask you me said no questions. but like that's just the truth <laughs> yeah, that's just the truth no, because okay, I, want to, I want to ask you a question go for it man you grew up here in Nigeria. So, so I moved back to Nigeria okay. about 1.8 months, well, years ago. 1.8. 1. 1. Okay. So, you know, I'm okay. almost coming to my two-year mark. Okay. Okay. So I was born in London, okay. raised in London, okay. and now I moved back his hair. Doctors, okay. the same thing, you okay. know? Okay. So I have more Nigerian than her, though. Yeah, he came, he, he actually, he was here a bit more than me. I okay. never even stayed here. The longest okay. I was ever in Nigeria before I moved here was one month. Okay. Yeah. 
okay, the, the thing is that most of these guys that well, most of you guys that grew up outside the country, most of the times you guys, you know, based on the way you guys grew up, you might see going to the market might be an issue self because oh, of the way really? things are. <laughs> How more? But we here, I we get here, hustled in the market. We, here, boy. we love the fact that we get to negotiate with the market woman. Mm. We get to see those flies that are flying around. You know, that's what that's the African spirit. To be honest, <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the African spirit. It's not about having a shop. <laughs> It's a beauty of so it. It's with the flies as well. It's not negotiating with the flies. It's negotiating with the woman selling the, the stuff there. Look, Get. he's right, right? It's the culture. Okay. There's a difference between someone who grew up in Nigeria, mm. like I went to the UK probably mm. and stayed for some time and, came, and like come I back know to Nigeria. People like when that, they come yeah. back, they want to experience that that past the vibe. You get. But mm. someone that grew up like they gave birth in the UK, yeah, they never saw. There. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. hard for them to come here mm. and get to like. You that's know, why I'm very so surprised at myself it. and I'm actually quite proud of myself because mm-hmm. you know how I'm always saying Lagos is a ghetto because it is. I'm so surprised because I was able to adjust to, to, to the ghetto. Yeah. And I, I do struggle. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. There's moments when I scream, like I've had, you know, moments where I'm <laughs> like moments. breakdowns because of the environment was a bit too much for me. I'm not going to deny it. Yeah. At the same time, I do like to, like I'm from Ondo State. I go to there I, and I think Lagos is the issue. When I go to Ondo State, apart from the fact that sometimes there's not constant hot water yeah and that's yeah. the only thing that gets yeah. i need hot water yeah. apart from that i love it it's peaceful it's cleaner it's beautiful so i think it's a lagos issue you know that that lagos vibe so i i hear what you're saying yeah. we when you grow up in a western city you're so attached so detached from um real life real life yeah, yeah. in fact because everything's made for you we don't yeah. even put our feet i've read I, again i read a lot of african books holistic books and things yeah, like that on the floor. even being able to touch the earth is Earth, a part yeah. of connecting yeah. to God yeah. and spirituality. Yeah. Yeah. We would not it's do that in the healing. Western world. We will go years and years because we're wearing souls, going mm. on the road and things yeah. like that. So we're very disconnected from God, the Earth and real life, like yeah. you say, the flies. Yeah. But regardless, Sha, I'm more Nigerians to step up. Yeah, mm. when, it ag- when it comes to when it comes to smallholder farmers yeah. and agriculture, yeah. Yeah. health, hygiene, the all your step up. We need to step up. Let me tell you why. Agriculture, and I'm saying it here right now, is the key to to moving most Africans from in Nigeria from yeah. from lower class to middle class. Mm, yeah. That is the key. There's no other. I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. There's no yeah. real estate. There's no nothing. It's agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. We have enough here, like you say. We're combined with the north and the south to move millions of people out yeah. of poverty. Yeah. So what we need to do right now is create export worthy products. Mm. And all the people that you're meeting, how do you think that they can? You know, is it is it? Did any government support? How do you think that they can get on that journey to start producing things of that value? Um, uh, one thing we need to know is that um, in Nigeria here, the income, the, the money we earn is very very little, and most of the things most entrepreneurs need at the moment is the go- support from the support from the government. I mean, um, we need more government support because Nigeria is a, Nigeria is a third world country. Like we don't have much money we always forget that you yeah know. we always forget it's that always to remember yeah, that Nigeria, is a, third remember world country. Nigeria is a third world country and a third world com- country usually needs more of the support of the government it's not really you get so if someone wants to go into production now remember that they started small they don't have much capital you get if they start small start producing probably palm oil and start selling to like within the country mm-hmm. the next goal is now to scale the business and start probably exporting for someone to go and start exporting palm oil 100 percent they need the support of the government because mm. facts oh yeah right. that's just that's, that's, that's just the, they need, the, yeah they need the support of the government yeah. that that's just the truth everything from yeah. seeds to fertilizer yeah. i mean every, everything part of the value yeah. chain yeah this should be from the whole thing yeah. you know is is serious like, like that, that same guy i had a, a, a conversation with on my channel about who invested 100k usd and lost everything he's in the uk right now but like one of the key things he, could, he said he needed loan to grow his business mm. But well, getting access to that loan was a problem. Problem, yeah. It was a very, very big problem for him. For him, and that was why his business failed, and he had to leave. Uh, you know, he said he ran for his life. That's what he told me when he texted me on WhatsApp. He said I ran for my life. <laughs> <I'll tell> him, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it sounds funny, well, and then, I don't know if this is the reason, yeah. but I also have some people that are like actually well to do yeah. that are going into the palm oil farming and other yeah. areas. Right now, it's so bad they have to take Mopo to yeah. the farm. Nah. Yeah. I'm just telling you, that's the situation. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. People are getting killed. People are actually trying to do stuff. I have the means to do it without government support. They have a security risk. How can someone, excuse, how can someone set up a business? Probably, let me see, in the East. Mm -hmm. Let me use the East, for example. Because we are also facing some crisis in terms of security as well. Yeah, yeah. Set up a business in the East. Yeah. Probably a farm, cassava farm. And then for you to go down there, you need security. Just 
you're going to the you farm, see? but you need to. They need, need to as well. I'm telling you, you need, you need it. You need it. And these are these are hundreds. Some of them, when they're when they're really large, they're over a hundred hectares, five hundred yeah. hectares worth of farmland. Because farming is another thing. And again, you that you will know more than me. Yeah. You need the the larger the farm, you need scale. For, to make yeah. money in farming, you need yeah, scale. Yeah, skill. It's all about is, volume. It's yeah. about volume, yeah, which volume. is why smallholder farmers need government support mm. with the quality of the seeds. Mm. You know, the temperature. They, they need help with tracking the weather. Everything. There's yeah, so yeah. many parts so of the value chain. Energy yeah. as well. Irrigation. Yeah. So many yeah. things that they need support on, and yeah. they cannot make smallholder farmers don't make money. They have outgrower schemes yeah. that they can do with yeah. like the bigger, um, yeah. the bigger farmers so yeah i think it, it's so sad well you see what i'm saying though like the, what i just talked about when i talked about that tier of government right those support doesn't get there because it's like the, those people are putting the into money this local government yeah. against the, the money is different. Yeah. so now yeah, then the money, yeah. even if you go for dfis it's still getting chopped by, so it's like it's like the money doesn't filter down to the see, people it because it's when i realized nigeria is so corrupt was when we like i was an event one of my guys wanted to host in the east so the guy figured out that um the zoo in Imo State, which mm. is naked as zoo. Mm. It's not really, um, it's not popping. Like, this is a zoo that, that people know that it's meant wow. to be popping. When people, come, when people come down to Imo State, they want to visit naked as zoo. So the guy wanted to host an event, you know, so that the place can start popping. So, the guy finished structuring everything, there'll be profit. Now that's the money, before the money could come, probably the guy wanted to get like 10 million naira from the government. Now the 10 million naira, um, the the commissioner of tourism will collect her own share. Yeah. Like, the way the, the guy divided the money, it nothing is left. Me. I'm like, what? The, nothing like, is left. What do you not want to use? And like, mm. it's so confusing to me. So that's how corrupt Nigeria is. Mm. You get that's how how corrupt. Because before the money comes down from the governor, there goes down. Everybody they collect their own share. Before it now comes down to the guy who is now going to use the money to work, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm, now nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem we face here in Nigeria. Mm. Yeah. That's mad. So, I mean, I can tell you're a young guy. What makes you so driven, so knowledgeable? You know, you've done so well. I'm seeing drone shots on your Instagram, on yeah. your YouTube channel. I'm yeah. seeing so many, you know, amazing, inspiring yeah. things for me. Yeah. How, why are you the way you are? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand the question, but like, I'll see. <laughs> for you to grow up in Nigeria okay. and be, so, yeah. I mean, Nigerians are driven, but I'm just okay. saying for you to have already started to do the things that you've done. Okay, okay. With what you've experienced in life. Okay. Why have you turned, why do you think you're the way you are at the moment? Okay. Um, well, I see, I, I feel it's the way I grew up. Because okay. I started taking responsibility for myself from, from a very, very young age. Okay. It's not like my dad is not there. I'm still, I'm, I'm like, my dad is still alive and all that. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel it's just my story in the sense that I was not with my dad at a very young age. Okay. So I'm the first son you get. Okay, so I was nice, the one, yeah. like, making some of the moves for my siblings, like, nice, yeah. you get. So I feel that's what built me up. Like, I'm, I'm still giving. So, yeah, yeah. I, I can relate to that. Mm. When you have responsibility from yeah, a young yeah, age, yeah. it never leaves you. You yeah, just yeah, have you that just, kind yeah. of, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, that's amazing. So, yeah. I, okay, so aside from agriculture on your channel, you've started doing kind of more like real estate yeah, videos. Yeah, my channel, my channel involves just, it's just investing in general. In you know, Africa, it's not like, yeah, love that, yeah. It's not like real estate. Like, I came into Lagos, I was like, I've seen guys make videos around real estate. I said, let me just explore and just see whether the content is going to do quite well. But like, okay. I'm not get, I'm not seeing like, like in my audience. I don't see think that they like the real estate stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I have yeah. to stop that. But like, yeah. my channel is all about investing, in general Perfect. and business. That's in a business. Yeah. No, that's excellent. That's very good. So many yeah. people want to. They need to get yeah. that knowledge. Yeah. yeah. And 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 kind of open your audience base right now. Who's yeah. kind of your who are the kind of key people that are feeding into your content right now? Uh, uh, is it in terms of age because they have different demographic. Demographic, like location wise. Okay, then you have Nigerians and then US and then UK, Ghana. So it's more of Nigerians here and then probably Nigerians in the diaspora. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And and are people reaching out to you to like give them support or tips or stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like that's why that's why I said leverage because mm. um you see like I was a video I made about um um Ngopala. Mm. Like this is a land that they have water, they mm. have everything. Cassava, I can plant any. Like this is a land that is on tap. It's, it's yes. a fertile yeah. land. Like a fertile land. Mm. So I made a video about that, please. And mm. guys are reaching out to me. They want to invest there, yeah. mm. but Amazing. I don't want to help someone that if I help you at the end of the day, the government will come and pull you down mm. because of they won't give you support. You get. Mm. But guys are actually reaching out to me. Like from mm. the UK, from the US, like the one amazing, set of businesses yeah. here. Next That's year. interesting. No, it's amazing. I'm telling you, like I, I was literally watching your videos. Like yeah. this is incredible content. Yeah. Like you're okay. giving us real life. You know, sometimes some of us African YouTubers want to showcase the good side, mm. and yeah. Africa is great. Come back, but there's still a real life aspect. There so is. I, I, I love people that show yeah. both the good and the bad, and yeah. even you've got the, the right balance, like yeah. on your channel. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and kind of as a young handsome man like I you. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to every man. Ah, <laughs> we we ah, we ah, 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 what what are the ladies like? Ah, what are they saying? Oh, yeah. he always asks this. Go on. As Talk you, to us about the ladies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to enter your DMs for YouTube. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you wouldn't know that coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, like I said, um, I'm still in school. Yes. Mm. I, I That's to, not an excuse. The schoolboy is running streets. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I don't have girls, but like um, I'm still single. As that is just the main thing. I'm still trying to like um, build up my brand. So that's the goal at the moment. But girls are still there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not sufficient, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll pause that there. Who so, you, okay, who you, who does more damage to the female psyche? You're a bad man or a bad man? Okay, that was a nice question. All the rest, yeah. Um, there was a video I watched on TikTok. Okay. The girl said, "Fear Yoruba men." You get? Yeah. So fear Yoruba men. <laughs> <laughs> Say no to Nigerian men, baby. No, 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 but I, I, the one thing about Igbo men is that they, they always want to make their wife and well, ladies look I've better heard, than them. A lot them, right? of them they say men that. Cherish their, their women. Like I've heard that a lot. Yeah, they cherish I've had their them women tell me that, yeah. Like we don't play with our wives. Yeah, because we feel that the, our wives are the pillar of the, of the mm. house and the family. Mm. So yeah, hmm. so yes, able men. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you need to, you need to really so so that. I've got this question. I always ask every guest, right? Yeah. So if you were the president of Nigeria, what would you do differently? What would you? What would you? Uh, a policy that you would enforce? Okay, policy. Yeah, that you would enforce. What would you do differently? What would you do? If you're the okay, president? um, if I was the president of Nigeria, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, because I, I definitely we have lots of youth. Mm. And uh, one of my goals would be to empower the youth mm -hmm. because I feel that for a, for a country to develop, you need to equip like human capital development is the most important thing. So uh, one of the policies I'm going to pass is that um, skill acquisition yes, is that's, compulsory. That's, yes, mm. it's I, compulsory. I like like that, yeah. if you're a student, you must like after your school, you sort of NYC one year to learn a particular skill. Amazing. Mm. So yeah, Amazing. that's one well, like a physical skill that you can use. You, I said skill. this to you in my house today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Israel, so it's a key apart to from survival. physical skill, yeah. Israel, like you have one year, or is it two years of so serving the military? Mm. Like you, you get, I'm not, my mind is not going to be military, it's going to be more of skill. skill acquisition, yeah. Yeah, vocational stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's very interesting. Yeah, it's I actually, I said it to him literally today that I learned that. It's, they say it's the key to survival. Yeah, 100%. Because yeah, really? if all, if yeah. all flows down to the level, the schools that you have left. Yeah, it's the schools that you have left. Yeah, you see, yeah. More, we have more um, school um, guys that go to school in Nigeria and they don't have what they are doing. Unemployment rate is high. So one of the ways to solve that is... It's that because of your culture. Because you grew up in Emma, I want to ask you this. There's, yeah. there's the belief that most of the outside of Lagos states, the youth are just engaging in Yahoo. Is, okay. there, is there any truth to that? There's a little bit of truth to that, okay. but I won't really. Uh, it's not like I'm not supporting them, but like no, no, don't blame. As in, we don't want to chastise them, but I just want yeah. to know is is that is that something that's actually prevalent in the society that it's you see? It's very very prevalent, more okay. much in the east, in in Imo states, like okay. to be precise. Like yeah. you have lots of young boys getting into Yahoo, and most of the time it's not their fault because they don't have access to yeah. education. You don't. These guys are not educated properly. If mm -hmm. these guys knows that know that there's a proper way to earn money legitimately yes. online. Why would they want to put their strength? I in agree. To they would. Nice, yeah. yeah. So it's more about educating these guys, and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you know the government to play in their own role because the economy is not in a good way, in a good position. You see someone that is hungry. What do, what do, what do they expect? The guy he's going to look for any possible, possible way to I feed his family. I agree. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually a very good point. It's it's, it's, it's survival. What they're survival. Survival. Yeah, it's survival. Like, it's survival. Yeah. That's why education is so important and skills mm. acquisition, like you say. I'm 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 just I agree yeah. with you hundred yeah. percent. I think when Absolutely I have the means right. to do, I'm very. Well, I yeah. want to build like a, an environment yeah. for them to learn things. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, because honestly, that's the only thing that you have is what you can contribute yeah, to the economy. Yeah. I want to ask you guys though, like sure, you guys right. have been training me questions. All right, come so, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, through my heart. I like his energy. <laughs> ask me. He's ask the first person. Like yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. So what's your Say problem? Say that to Nigerian so like, like, what's your problem with Sian Igbo men? I'm there for you. Oh, <laughs> yes, my car. Somebody with a fire, you know. I'm there for you, like. He's um, the first person to ask questions. On the <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. answer you. Okay, for him, yeah. what, what do you want to so ask for, him as well? For you, for you. What, like, what was that? What was your ideal woman? Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you met your man. 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 You
<laughs> you know the way you're trying to ask these dumb questions. Huh? What's yeah. going on here? Well, I know I asked like, ask about women. So I asked about no. women too. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. No, you go first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> lady first. So yeah. I was raised, and unfortunately, this is, goes down to how you raise your children. I was okay. raised and told continuously from a very young age, stay away from it by men. Okay. okay? I okay. heard that you okay. men are very fetish. You use okay. your wife for money ritual. Ah, you love no, money no, too no, much. No, 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 okay. No. So you I was. Money, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> so I was raised like that. Now, yeah. honestly, at the end of the day, I make my own decision. But I tell them life is already hard, okay. and I have a very um, I abnormal money, life. Money. I have a very active life. Let me just say that. So it's very hard for me to have capacity to date outside my own tribe and my own race because I really don't. I don't have the time for it. So that's why I just stick to Yoruba. I'm not saying that the Yoruba have been great either. Okay, okay they've been, okay. the Wahala is plenty. I love that. The Wahala is the oldest joy riding up and down Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of plenty too, but that's my reasoning, you know. Send it to Nigerian men, regardless. But well, okay. you're single, just try out. Are you single? I didn't ask, I just 100% single. So, like, try out an evil man. Just, <laughs> just try out an evil man. <laughs> you, you, you understand why they I will mean. flood you with money. Ah, so Gucci just drip. try, and they will treat Louis you drip. Nice, like Chanel, Dior, yeah. one name. Will. Christian, <laughs> 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 well, yeah. what kind of girls do I like? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Wahala. Yeah. Let me just I like feminine ladies. That's all. Like. That's, yeah. that's it. No, yeah. no, no. You're, you're like, that was no direct answer. <laughs> that was no direct. That was no sufficient. Yeah, direct. because yeah. if he doesn't answer properly, I'll answer for him, but yeah. he doesn't want that me to okay. answer. No, no, no. You were so mad, yeah? Yeah. Like, generally speaking, just... So basically, I live... My life is... Uh, one day we can be in Nigeria. Next to me, we can try to move somewhere else. Okay. Uh, I could try to change ideas... Or the I said is I want twenty wives. Yeah. So she, I just want someone so that's what, just compliant. That's okay. Compliant. <laughs> compliant. Okay. 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 <laughs> you gotta do the diligence. Say that's that's, that's broad. German girl. Say that's that's broad. German. <laughs> <laughs> that's broad. That's broad. No, obviously feminine. Feminine. A nice. <laughs> <laughs> Compliance. And I, no, that, that, that's gonna be sounding so misogynistic. Shout out Andrew and you Trey. Andrew 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 Trey. <laughs> oh my day! Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. We say yeah, like yeah, yeah. that question. That's what I was saying. When you were when, when, when you were top G in Lagos, yeah, yeah. top G in Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, yeah. interesting. What about you though? What do you what are you what are you feeling right now? Okay, what about you? What? What are you, what are you feeling? Like, what's your spec okay, right okay, now? What okay. Nigerians, Nigerians are just. But no, Nigerians, Nigerians, we just love we just love girls and women are respectful. Really? Yeah, yeah, hundred mm. percent. But and let me tell you, I didn't want Igbo girl one time. I'll tell you, I'll say this and right up, chest okay. out from <laughs> not Igbo girl. I say the women that are respectful. No, no, no. no, 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 no he's I'm about to tell you about the Igbo girl that okay, he did. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why can't even start a podcast? I'm like, God, why can't you do this? Do you guys want to hear this story? Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. Anyways, let's go. I went out. I went to go to get a nice little meal. No me, no me. I'm a daughter guy. So we have a bit of Igbo flair, but we're also very relaxed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? So we see out there. Vibes. Everything was good. Shoulder was looking pretty. Everything was set. Everything was, you know what I'm saying? I was in my energy. She was in my energy. Everything was good. Oh, man. Anyways, long story short, this girl was like, hmm, I can smell. I was like, oh. she's like, you have money, but you don't have money. Ah, I said, Jesus. <laughs> she told me I have money, but I don't I have money. You. That one I told you about. Oh, hey, you, so why is it that these evil girls are looking for money? The kind of money that's they're looking they're for raised, is not, it's not uh, millions, though. it's billions. That's how they're raised, though. It, I, I think that's not general. It's not general because... It, it depends on you know the kind of family the lady is coming from. Mm. Coming yeah, from exactly. a, a family that don't have money, they are going to marry a wealthy man. Exactly. Right. And it's not Ibo. Stay not to poor Ibo girls. It's not. I Ibo. don't. No, I've heard. No. I don't. People, most of the in prostitutes Nigeria. in in Italy in these places I've heard are from Edo uh, people. They push them to those kind they of. They push the prostitution. They push them to prostitution and they push the boys to drug dealing. I'm not gonna. This is what I've heard. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, yeah. 
<laughs> we're in a prison position. I go to Italy. This is, this I was, was straight places. from the, the whole system. I heard this wow, from their own wow, people, but wow, I'm just saying, like, wow. you know, at the end of the day, hey, I can, let me tell you what sorry, I came man, what to. Me? <laughs> 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 let me tell you what I've, I was in bed. You know, I'm always thinking. My brain is so overactive. Mm, yeah, so let me yeah. tell you my new school of thought. Okay. My new school of thought is the most sanest people grew up middle class. Yeah. When you grow up in too much mm. poverty, unfortunately, the poverty ruins your character. Yeah. So even mm. if you do rise out of it, you're you're messed up. Yeah. Mm. If you grow up in too much wealth, you're detached from yeah. the real yeah. life yeah. and you're messed up. Yeah. If you grow up middle class, you have the highest likelihood of coming out balanced. Mm. I'm not saying you will not be a bit messed up if you grew up with trauma, mm. but I'm just saying I've clocked it. Middle yeah. class is the is the best place to be spiritually, yeah. emotionally, mentally, etc. It's balanced, isn't it's it? Balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Poverty, yeah. Because you're in survival. So that's why I don't blame people. Mm. Sometimes they resort to... Because at the end of the day, if you've got children to feed, you've got a family to feed, you've got dependents on you, a lot of people will resort to things that they shouldn't have no business have to going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So I can never judge anybody <laughs> yeah. that resorts to those kind of things, you know? It's tough. It's very yeah. tough. Tough yeah. being poor. Tough yeah. being poor. It's really being tough. poor, bro. Yeah. 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 In Nigeria. Yeah. Ah. Just in Nigeria. You're on your own, like in Nigeria. Like yeah, every man, for, the, every man for themselves. In the US, like, they can, they can, you can easily get some burgers to eat. So, like, when Nigeria, nobody send, like, you're on your own. I'm telling you, you should. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hustle, like, hustle well, hustle hard. Hustle. If you're watching this, hustle hard. Yeah. Hustle hard. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much, Micah. Like, yeah, you've actually yeah. been very fun. You brought yeah, energy. You need yeah, to come back yeah. again. Yeah. You're the first person to actually ask Doctor anything. I need you to keep asking him more please, questions. Please, please. Because... Uh, let's ask more intellectual questions. No, 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 no. <laughs> coming from you but yeah thank you so much yeah. your, tell them your youtube channel okay my youtube channel is Mika Irumaka yes yeah. yeah so follow him we'll put it on the video and yeah. in the description box yeah this is a this is a Nigerian Wodemaya right now yeah. Wodemaya watch out Nigerian Mika watch out Mika, not I love that it's our Ibo King yeah, right it's Ibo King yeah. showing you the opportunity <laughs> where the money where the money is <laughs> You don't see in Legos, all fancy stuff. It's like coming to the rural area, show where the money is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, deuces. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.